Hi, and thanks for choosing Pebblehost. In today's video, I'm going to show you how you can make a MySQL database on cPanel. So let's just get right into it. So first, of course, go to your cPanel. Then from here, you're going to scroll down until you find the Databases tab. And then you're going to select MySQL Databases. Then where it says create new database, you're going to put a name for your database in here. So I've made it Pebble Host Tutorials, and now we're going to click create database. And now that database has been added. So now if we look down here, we can see current databases, and we have the strange S, which was the username, and then Pebble Host Tutorials, which is the rest of the name. Now we need to add a MySQL user. So once again, you're going to fill out this information. I'll just put Pebble Host for my username, and then the password, you're going to make your own. Whereas once you made your password, go ahead and click create user. And now we've also successfully created a user. So now what we need to do is we need to add this user to the database. And this is just so that this user will be able to access this database. So now we're going to scroll down to where it says add user to database. And if you only have one of each, it will probably fill it out for you automatically. But if you don't, you're going to want to select the user that you want to add to it. And then of course, select the database that you want to add them to. Once you've done that, just go ahead and click add. And then you can select the provisions that you want to give them. For this video, I'm going to select all privileges and then we'll click make changes. And now as you can see, success. So if we go back, you can see on our current database, we have Strange S Pebble Host Tutorials, and then the privileged users is Strange S Pebble Host, which is the user that we just added to it. And if you do ever want to edit these permissions, you can simply go ahead and click on the privileged user, and it will take you to the Manage User Privileges page. So that is very simply how to make a MySQL user, and how to make a MySQL database, and also how to connect them. Anyway, hopefully this short video was helpful. If it was, definitely leave a like and subscribe, and hopefully, I'll see you next time.